So this is a short video to demonstrate the Kawasaki VN15. This should have been road tested, clutch, brakes, gears, that kind of thing. So first I'm going to just climb on and start the engine. Uh, the ignition switch is down there, side stand up. You can see in there we've got the temperature, oil and neutralizer on there. Seems that the battery's fairly good, it seems to start it every time. Anyway, first thing to do is up to the junction and apply a little bit of rear brake and describe how that feels. Once the traffic is cleared. Won't need a bit of choke. Respond as quickly as I would expect it to. Let's just try moving the fuel tap here. Okay, that's better. All right, up to the junction. Just apply a little bit of rear brake. Is what I'm doing now. There's a fair bit of movement on the brake pedal. More than I would normally expect, but it works all right. There's no pulsating or anything. So we've got the front, a little bit of front brake, a little bit more. The front brake is not all that powerful, but it has only got one disc, I think. Yeah, it's only got one disc. And for a bike like this, I guess it doesn't need powerful brakes. So working work through the gears, having listened to it. Transmission, that kind of thing. The transmission all feels nice and quiet. The exhaust note is a little bit louder than most bikes. It's kind of sort of Harley sort of noise, maybe not quite as loud as a Harley with the straight through pipes. I've noticed the foot pegs are fairly stretched out. So um, if you're a shorter sort of a person, you might have to sit a bit nearer the, the tank than I'm doing at the moment. Anyway, I'm going to pull back the throttle and have a listen to it, make sure it accelerates on too nicely. And there's no electrical brake down there, so it's nice on both cylinders. And do the horn. It's all fine. Just take my hands off the dials, it's going nice and straight, which it does. That's the test done.